Hi everybody. If you've never been to the Berry Automotive Flea Market or you just couldn't make it this year, stick around and we'll do a walkthrough. Uh, I noticed something this year and it's from the Marvel Universe. So you'll have to stick around to see what it is. See you in a bit. everybody on my way to the uh, Barry automotive flea market uh, this is Friday June the 2nd it's a very hot day it's kind of cool right now figure to get out there early in the morning while it's still cool uh, they call it for maybe some showers in the afternoon so uh, stick around I'm on my way there we'll see you in a bit I'll take you along for the journey thanks bye bye <laughs> Okay, everybody, looks like I've arrived at the uh, event here, the uh, Barry Automotive Flea Market, or BAFM for short. Uh, let's, I'm actually using, uh, this is my, I'm using my new uh, gimbal, my phone gimbal. It's the Insta360 Flow. So we'll see how things work out with this thing. I'm still kind of experimenting with it. Um, but hey, we'll see how it works out. All right, everyone, I thought I'd explain the next portion of the video. I was actually getting things set up and ready. I got my Insta Flow, oh, sorry, my Insta 360 Flow, uh, setting up with my camera. And this person thought I was doing a selfie, and he says, "Don't worry, you look good." And here we go. <laughs> Guys thought I was doing a selfie. <laughs> Said I was pretty. So hey, I agree with them. somebody from the Lindsay flea market let's see what a parts they got there
Everything you don't need is in here. And I went in there, and guess what? I didn't need anything. Well, this looks interesting. Convert your old uh, headlights into LEDs. I think you have to check into this. I have to say this Barry one is very spaced out compared to the the Lindsay one. Again, just like any other ones, I guess. Could be a lot of garbage that you see. Work our way up and down the aisles. I'm actually surprised, unless it's in another area too, that there isn't a, a lot of the old cars. Uh, we've seen the cars that we passed by earlier on, but Lindsay had a whole lot more, to be honest with you. And that's the Lindsay Auto Flea Market I'm referring to, by the way. That was a, about a week ago.
Say hi. Yeah. <laughs>
Thor's hammer. I wonder where Thor is. Looks like he left. Was it mine? I can't pronounce it. Mine, whatever it is. Thor's hammer. Mew Mew, whatever it is. So the self-etching primer, that's actually a good price Canadian, 18 bucks each, two for 35. One step self-etching, uh, Dominion seal. Uh, I know at Canadian Tire they're like $26 or something like that. And I thought I saw these guys at the Lindsay, the Lindsay market. So I picked up a couple of cans of it. So good deal if you see them. I think it's a good deal anyways. I haven't seen it cheaper. I think Napa, it's like 25 bucks a can.
Hey, Randy and Ur an Urta cat. Randy, ask me, answer this. How come I only see Urta cats on the grass and not the snow? The insider is Randy's my son in law, and he's got a busted up Urta cat. And I'm a sk skidoo guy.
Okay, so this is the last row here. Um, I've already been through this. A bit off camera a couple of times, so this is where we came in, right over there by those porta potties. Spoke with a few people, but they're a bit too shy to be on camera, so they're a little uncomfortable with me recording, so that's why I didn't get anything. Very surprised a lot of people are kind of uncomfortable with that. But hey, that's okay. So this is where we get off this ride. Head back to the truck. Well, everybody, uh, that's it for the Berry uh, Automotive Flea Market. Um, I get a fair amount of people here. What's my take on it? Eh, it wasn't too bad. Um, again, maybe I came in with bigger expectations. It's, it's kind of sad because you got spoiled by Carlisle, right? So. Uh, but it's still not too bad. Um, I was assuming it'd be a bit bigger. The number of cars here, the old cars, was pretty low. There was more in Lindsay, but there is. I don't know if you can see the clouds. Let's see. Probably not. Let's see if I can pan up. don't know if you can see the clouds, but there are call for potential thunderstorms. So I would imagine most people with the classic cars is not going to bother risking it. So that's probably why a good reason. Uh, so I'm just going to pack it up and head back home. Uh, that's about it. So... Thanks for sticking around and make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this. Just a bit of a walk around. And also don't forget to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Have a great day and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.